we tried most things outdoors. We've tried um, camping in a tent. We've stayed in the van. We've um, stayed in the van with an awning on the side. The driveway awning. Your wife liked the idea of trying caravanning. So we bought a caravan. Mm, it's basically a box on wheels. It's not, I don't see the, um, there's a the dog. Come on. I um, don't see the actual massive thrill of it really. I understand that it's probably easier because you pull up and it's all there really. Um, it's got, it came with a inflatable warning. With a Van Gogh one with a uh, pod sleeping pod nut in it, so yeah. So at the end of the week, we're going to go away for a couple of nights, try it out. But still, going to keep the van. Obviously, the van's still for like weekend adventure. A bit windy. Sorry if the uh, the audio ain't great. Um, yes. So that's what we do at the moment. I had to spend all day today um, wiring, rewiring the, the electrics on the caravan, the towing electrics, because someone had wired it out completely wrong. Um, it was back feeding a lot of you through the earth, so yeah, it went great. Um, got a few jobs to do on it tomorrow, so I'll probably. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera, by the way. I'm trying to watch where I'm going, so it'll break my neck. Um, yeah, I'll probably video it tomorrow, bits I'm doing just to show you. Um, it's all on 12 volt system, so um, yeah, I thought we'd bring the dog out for a walk. Look at this. It's nice, isn't it? You know, this is a, a stone's throw from my house, but I quite enjoy walking in the countryside and fields and that, but the problem is you get some people that haven't got a Dicky bread about the country code or whatnot. Just common courtesy and manners, really. They go mincing through the field, destroying the crop, rather than sticking to a track. You know. So, but you get that, don't you? You get some tools. You know, country code. Uh. Yeah, so the, where we're going with the caravan at the end of the week. Um, so it's no short one, just to see how we get on with it really. It's the first outing in the caravan. Um, it's to a local campsite. Um, it's actually, again, it's on our doorstep. It's about 10, 15 minute drive from our house, but um, traveling K uh, is a lady from New Zealand. She came over and done a tour around uh, around England, um, she basically lives in a caravan. Um, it's a real nice lady, and it's a real nice channel. Um, and she stayed at this campsite, and that's what made me aware of it. All the, the years we've been season holders for the actual the safari park side of it, um, didn't never know there was a caravan site there. So yeah, we're going to go try that out, and that's Longleat caravan site. So. Uh, Windy. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. The dog. Leave. So walking around the edge of the uh, field, not straight through the standing standing crop like as you can see some people have. Um, dog shot away, man. Yeah, so I fitted me spoilers on my van the other day. Um, we had a bit of rain coming in, and I wanted to get it on there, so. I did video it, but for some reason, uh, the 
video, one of the video files was corrupted, which was the main bit of me fixing it to the van. And um, yeah, so I couldn't really put anything together, but all I did was obviously primed it, primed them before, sprayed them in gloss black, um, roughed at the top of the door, loaded tiger seal, two screws, just to hold them in place on both sides, on both um, spoilers. And yeah, job done on that one. Uh, I, again, I got got quite a few few things to do on the caravan, little bits and pieces, like the outdoor awning light, it's old and a bit opaque and yellowy looking. So I've got a new shiny see-through clear light to go on that. Uh, yeah, so what else have I got to do? Done the electrics today. Just generally give it an overall, just give it a check over. Um, tire pressures, make sure the tires are on, you know, the nuts that hold the tires on are nice and tight. Once over, I'll give it another light to check. I say so I sorted out the electrics today, but I'll, I'll double check them tomorrow. Following day, oh, I've got to clean up the sterilize the water system as well. It's been stood on the drive for a couple of months. Um, so I've changed the water filter, um, sterilize the system down. Also, um, the actual fill bit which you stick into the water barrel, which goes in the water barrel, uh, roll master, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. The thing you fill up the fresh water that's pump goes into the caravan. There's a pump thing that goes in the side of the caravan. Um, that can leak, but I've done a bit of research and apparently there's a dodgy join on the actual pipe itself. So I will check all that out. Um, <sighs> only thing is, I mean, I, I know the etiquette on like, camper vans and you know all that sort of thing, but when it comes to caravanning, I don't know. Do you wave at your fellow caravanners? I, mean, I ain't got any crocs. <laughs> you know, do I need to buy some crocs? Am I going to get frowned upon because I'm young? I'm not stereotyping here, it's just that most caravan, as you see, tend to be a bit older than what I am, what we are as a family. Um, I am going to uh, probably annoy a lot, annoy a lot of people because. Uh, towing it in me car in me van so towing it with me van I should say not in me van um yeah well anyway I don't care I'll try anything once but yeah, it should be good it add to the adventure um I'd say we're only going for a couple of nights just to see how we get on with it because we've never done caravanning before it might be might not be what we think it's going to be. Um, got an inflatable warning with it. A Van Gogh one. It's got like a sleeping pod attachment inside it. Um, but again, I know the winds and the weathers that I, you can put the awning that we got for the van. I thought you put that through. But I don't know how much stick you could... Hang on, the dog. Luna! Ugh. Um, I don't know how much stick you can put the inflatable ones through, weather-wise. Um, yeah. That's why it's only a stone's throw from our house as well, so if it goes peak tong, you can always nip home. Um, got a few little DIY uh, projects that I need to do on it as well, so I will video those. Um, sort of 12-volt system stuff, so might help somebody out. Um, yeah, see how we get on. So yeah, um, next video you should see from me is me doing these little bits and pieces. So um, stay safe, stay out of trouble. See you on the next one.